In this video, we're going to be talking adrenal fatigue and porn addiction. My name is Heather and I'm founder of Fight the Beast, a porn addiction recovery organization helping people quit for good. So first of all, what is adrenal fatigue and what are the symptoms? Well, adrenal fatigue is basically where your adrenal glands have been overstimulated and overworked, so they stop producing key hormones like adrenaline, serotonin, dopamine, and testosterone. What happens is over time, if your adrenal glands are producing too much, they basically get burnt out. So what causes these this burnout, right? So it can be things like stress, a stressful job, overworking, um, stressful situations, or it can be things like pornography, pleasure. Too much pleasure will cause your adrenal glands to be burned out. So these pleasure activities, again, they can include too much social media, too much media in general, right? Right, Highly stimulating media. Pornography, masturbation, even sex. Too frequently, having these really high hits over time causes this burnout and the symptoms are feeling tired, fatigued, overwhelmed, depressed, lacking clarity, and things like food cravings, being tired in the morning when you got a full night's sleep, um, needing a stimulant to get you going in the morning or to keep you going. So constantly relying on stimulants. Um, So what do you do about it? What if, you know, if you are experiencing these symptoms and, you know, maybe you have a porn addiction, what do you do about it? How do you reverse it? Well, the good news is these are often the symptoms of withdrawal that people experience. Um, These are the symptoms that you experience when you are struck stuck in addiction and also when you try to quit they tend to get worse for a period of time um but all you have to do is look at the source right the source was burnout so when you back off from those high hits and you start doing things like ice baths cold showers taking a walk in nature yoga um square breathing things that will put your body in a calm but happy state as opposed to looking for these really high hits, highly stimulating activities, you're going to feel better over time. You know, the temptation is we want to feel great all the time, but our bodies can't sustain that feeling great all the time. We are we tend to, you know, go in in waves and we need those low times and we need those moderate times and in the middle times. And it's good for our health, it's good for our mental health, and it's good for our body. So focusing on those kind of middle ground, stable, consistently happy activities, especially where you're incorporating your mind and your body, are going to be really helpful in your recovery, as well as um, getting back from this adrenal fatigue. When you cut out the things like porn, stimulants, weed, caffeine, social media, you're going to start feeling more clarity, more energy, and more love for life and the things that really matter most. So try that out. And if you haven't yet, join us at member.fightthebeast.org to get involved with the Fight the Beast community called the 2% Club to learn more about recovery, the tools and resources for recovery, and to connect with other guys that are on the same journey, some further along, people who can give you advice and ideas, and also to connect with me on there as well.